Pressure from Thomas off the edge. Eli Manning stays on his feet. Airs it out down the field. It is caught by Tyree. Inside the 25 and a timeout taken. Oh my God. This ball. Before we get more into Welcome this, to Pretend yeah, Sports. I was going to say, we should intro this. Uh, so, unfortunately, Nathan could not join us this week. And um, so we thought it was a really good opportunity to debut our spinoff sports podcast called... Pretend Sports. And uh, we're, we're, we're doing pretending it... pretending to be sports analysts. Yeah. We're obviously not. We're yeah. Just, we're just dudes. And uh, <laughs> and we're doing this when Nathan's gone because uh, if you listen to the other podcast, well, this podcast, your pretend friends, uh, Nathan doesn't like sports or watch them or know he literally can't anything about them. with conversations that are conceptually about yeah. sports. <laughs> if we bring up sports, you know, if you notice, and this is obviously on purpose. completely tune out on the conversation. The, the, yeah, and the, the topic will change within a minute, which is good because I don't, I don't want Nathan to be uninterested. But yeah, he just doesn't know anything. You know, which to me, personally, I'm like, do you, you don't have any brothers or like was no one around you in the sports or like how you know Nathan? How, why is Nathan not into sports? Like what happened? He was just like into Star Wars and shit. Me too, though. I know, but like not everyone is into both. Typically, I see. like it's, I feel like a lot of people specialize. <laughs> so like, especially when they're and like because and especially because in media they're pitted against each other so often. True, right? yeah. Like, especially back then, nerds, nerds and jocks. And jocks and yeah, it's just like my brother would say stupid ass shit. Like one of my brothers would be like, "Oh, you can't, you can't uh, be a skateboarder and a football player at the same time." I was like. That is like the most rigid, lame mindset. Like that's super lame. But I do agree. If you do football and and skateboarding, you might die by the age of twenty two. That's crazy. I would skateboard to school like every really? day. Yeah, well, okay. that's different than like with my shoulder pads. That's different than going to like like, like a vert ramp or whatever. Like well, yeah, really yeah, skateboarding, yeah. like taking yeah, skateboarding that's just injuries. Yeah, that would be like your body would be like creaky as fuck at like age twenty five. <laughs> It'd be creaky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you? What is? Uh, what do you? Um, let's let's get into some sports. Yeah. Shit. So we. It's, yeah. So it turns out that Jacob and I actually we primarily like bonded over sports um, because we worked with a bunch of uh, tech people. That's true. That aren't if they're into sports, football is typically further down that list. Yeah. American football. Uh, yeah. All right, so what do you first, got today? The first thing. Uh, oh, but anyways, I think it's pretty funny that. Uh, so we didn't plan starting it today, but this is if you're into sports, you know that this is the dead period of sports essentially uh the only thing going on is baseball but it's the middle of the season in a season where they play 162 fucking games so no one can, there's a game every day who are these games for are there, there are people who watch 162 mlb games every day Probably not. not but like, I feel like season. I think it's like something. I don't know. I kind of like it. I think it's a very efficient system. I, I do it think it's the cool. game's cheap. Yeah. So I I do like kind of care. I'm wearing a San Francisco Giants hat right now, so I don't want to hate too much and look like a hypocrite. But basically, the way I'm into the Giants is I check my Yahoo Sports app and I go, they won, or I go, they lost, and then I move on with my day. I never watch an actual game, and I live right next to the ballpark, so. If I'm not watching the games, who the fuck is? I feel like given just the relatively <laughs> archaic nature of um, baseball. Mo yeah, basically baseball is a sport and the way that they prefer to keep it that way, which is cool. I start just I don't see like going to a baseball game as like going to a, a athletic competition. No, really. me neither. I see it more as like going to like. I don't know, like a play. Every time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like an interactive yeah. museum. Every you know, time. like one of those villages that you can go to where it's like the olden times, like it's all old Western and shit. It's like a time capsule, you know, and everyone's yeah. playing their little role. Yeah. It's kind of the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Which is, <laughs> which is. the same experience every yeah, time. Yeah, you go there to like chill and like talk to your buddies. Take me out to yeah. the ball game. Dur, dur, they use the term yeah. Cracker Jack for they peanuts. They use the same shit. You see a fucking, the coach of a team wearing, this, <laughs> wearing their uniform. <laughs> the general manager is the name they don't even have a coach you just You're called not the general allowed manager. to celebrate <laughs> they have coaches at third and first base to tell grown men if, if they should run or not oh man i mean 
I know it's necessary, but it seems like it seems like you have to do so little in baseball already. They, they, that shouldn't be allowed. They should have to make their own call, like observe the field. Maybe I mean, at the very least, the the players in the dugout can yell like "run" or some shit. But like, yeah. I feel like that that feels like some little league. However, shit. I will say though that like all all like um, pageantry aside, like the actual game of baseball is um, quite athletic. It um, is there are aspects of it that are like that are like considered like the peak of athleticism, like hitting a baseball right. is like throwing really, a baseball 100 miles an exactly. hour. Yeah, like doing stuff like that is is pretty. It's fucking so sick. that is so intense. So if you're into that, I feel like yeah. yeah. I mean, I, when I go there, I see some pretty sick shit, and I'm like, oh fuck yeah, like this is pretty tight. Do you know how and hard the pageantry is cool? You, know, you get a little bit of everything. You know how physically insane it is Not to throw bad. a baseball 100 miles an hour as often as they do. It's so insane that there is now a <laughs> surgery that yeah. that people electively get done. So that they can do it like longer because basically the human body as it's built can't handle that as they ba- they're basically going beyond the limits of the human body. Yeah, Tommy John surgery has become like an institution. In yeah. Itself. It used to be like a, like an injury you'd get and then like you'd like correct it. But Wait, now, what, were, what were your topics again? Oh, my topics were mostly NBA basketball focused, a little, little sprinkle of WNBA. The uh, WNBA. So Caitlin, yeah. <laughs> Caitlin Clark. <laughs> I I think the <laughs> the clip of Angel Reese like hard fouling Caitlyn Clark. <laughs> Which one? So <laughs> nar- She just goes up and like like her forearm yeah. just like connects with like her, with her like, head. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Yeah. So if you don't know, um, the WNBA if everyone knows this. I don't know. I feel like I some feel people. Like, oh, okay. So some of the, these people maybe they don't they're not really into sports too much because this is gonna be posted on like a regular. Oh, podcast. Yeah. So, so yeah, Kaylin Clark. So she's like the highest scoring college basketball player, whatevs. And she's a very highly touted rookie, the most probably hyped rookie in the history of the WNBA, right? And like by it, far. By far. It's not even close. Not even close. And it's there's a lot of clips that are surfacing on the internet of like other players from other teams like being especially aggressive towards her and like antagonistic and stuff. Maybe, maybe, who knows, right? Because like who knows? Because these are all taken out of context and people are talking about it. You don't watch a WNBA. True. No one so for sure. Maybe no these styles the happen game. like literally on every play to like every other player. You just don't even know that. <laughs> that would be like, hilarious. Right? That like true. you go and you realize that it's like, oh yeah, this is actually just like, oh, it's a professional sport. Who would have thought? Like <laughs> these styles are pretty rough though. And yeah, they show like I mean, zero more. That's why I feel like that one's so funny because it's so indefensible. It's just <laughs> Yeah. Dude, and it, it feels like and, and a thing that people have like been really critical of is that it doesn't really seem like her teammates really back her up either. And or like help her well, out. Well, that's in the any thing way. though, because again, like is this like commonplace? I don't is Kaylin like Clark a good teammate? Do people like her? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Is she making an effort to get along with people? Yeah, it's possibly not because like I'm sure it's a lot easier to get along with all of the other players on Iowa's women's basketball team, given the fact of like who she's a Midwestern person. So she knows how to like <laughs> interact with these other, I'm a, I don't know where the people on the Iowa women's basketball team are from, but probably primarily Midwest. I don't think like Iowa's basketball team was nothing before Caitlin Clark. So I don't think they're flying out to LA to like recruit. Girls. They don't have national regions. So basically, saying, yeah, she's yeah. having to like learn how to be a teammate in a situation that she doesn't know she before, has to be so. around black people <laughs> True. <laughs> the yeah, first I think there might be like one black person she has on to the be Iowa around basketball. black people now <laughs> and uh i mean and black i mean and like i don't know vice versa i don't know maybe she, well true I, yeah i mean yeah vice how versa, many iowa that help. Bas- like basketball players i mean they had another pretty Are good black? player actually or they had, what no like went go to the nba the wnba <laughs> fucking zero they had one though they had another play i think like number four she was pretty sick on um i was women's team they might have but that, that might have been like the lebron james effect dude right? they got destroyed by south carolina though did they? Oh yeah. Yeah. They did. So oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh yeah. So I really then, wanted like, to watch that too. Yeah. Right? People Anyways. are super. Are <laughs> I feel like everyone's be like turning into this whole thing about like the WNBA players are like jealous of Kaylee Clark, but they should be like protecting her uh, because she's like, and it's true. I mean, my sister said that. What my sister Alba said that she went to a WNBA game with Kay- with Kaylee Clark playing. And it was fucking packed. Yeah, against the Sparks. And she was Damn. like, dude, and she's like, it was fucking back. Wait, so like, was that before Cameron Brink got injured? Um, I think so. Yeah. Dude, that's sick. Yeah, yeah. That's so. super sick. And you know what? But this shows the effect that she's had on the WNBA is I knew a player in the NBA was injured. 
right? Like I oh, never yeah. would have even exactly. been able to name a player, so, let alone yeah. know that they're injured. It, it, yeah, the thing is, like, it, it's more than just Kaylin Clark. Like, it right. is Kaylin Clark. She's a huge part sure, of Cameron it. Brink's also, a but it is Cameron Brink. It is like to a degree like Angel Reese because some people probably do have the fuck with her. Like, yeah, she's pretty. I because my sister, my sister who watches was has been watching this like. She's like, she's like, dude, Angel Reese is actually pretty like consistent. Like yeah. she's pretty good. Yeah. She looks awkward. Like she's not, <laughs> she kind of like moves sort of like awkwardly, but like she double doubles yeah. at least like every game. A lot of people. All right. Let me, let me add some controversy here. Some people are like hating on Cameron Brink because they're like, oh, people are just, she's just popular because she's hot. She's so, considered like, uh, one, uh, like one so of is the, Cristiano Ronaldo. What's the big deal? Exactly. That's what I was gonna say. Whatever. It's like, it's like Demar Derozan media, probably would have been more popular at his peak if he was kind of attractive, but he's like, not. Do you do you honestly think these sporting events are anything other than TV? Sh- they're yeah, TV shows, exactly, yeah. TV broadcasts, yeah. bro. So you want them to look. You know, you're gonna you're gonna be looking at that. Imagine if Patrick Mahomes appealing. didn't sound like Kermit the Frog. This motherfucker <laughs> would be like in the MCU. By now, I guarantee it. <laughs> he does sound like Kermit. If Brian. Patrick Mahomes just had a semi-regular voice, he would be in the MCU. Hey guys, he, let's, uh, he literally would be Patrick, the next Iron Man. You do Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> no, I can't really do it. <laughs> I was gonna say, can you just do a Kermit? Yeah, what's just going on over there? <laughs> All right, guys. I can't really oh, this do shit one. hurts, bro. Yeah. That's why it hurts to listen to it. Yeah, like, how does he have such a fucking? I think Patrick Mahomes is literally like legit, like the best football player. Ever. Ever to yeah, be had. Probably. Ever. I think so. That I've seen. Yeah. In terms of just being effective in your in your role at that time that you're playing it, which is like how I try to do. I'm uh, where, do, where does his brother rank? I feel like among? I don't know. I think he's like in the conversation at least, right? There's like yeah. I think there's like ten oh, yeah. there's like ten players that you're you can sort of two? You, anyone can name, maybe that would be like okay, yeah, like that's a solid argument at least. It's two like, Super Bowls, right? It's three. What? Yeah, really? They just went back to back. And they they won the first one against the Niners. <laughs> um, no, the second one. And then they no they no man they lost they won the first one against the Niners and they lost to the Bucks, and then they beat the Eagles. And oh, they the beat first the one. Again. Sorry, sorry. I thought you meant the back to back. Oh yeah, well yeah. So they they um. That was Eagles, and then Niners. yeah, he has three Super Bowls now. Yeah, we watched that. And like happen. a zillion billion yards. We watched that game. Billion trillion zillion touchdowns. We, we watched them win that game <laughs> exactly in this spot, and it was. It's quite sad. I am fully convinced that Patrick Mahomes is the devil. Like, I'm not even kidding. I don't think anyone would really argue that you on that. I it's because like I like there was that one season like like I think it was his second year of dominance. It was after 2020. It was like when he like blew up basically. Yeah. Like it was going crazy. Well, cause, cause he 20, throwing, that's when he started throwing with his left hand and like doing like legit like yeah. black magic. Twenty like, what is it? without looking where the people are. I think was twenty eighteen <laughs> the uh, overtime against the Patriots? 2019 was the that was 2019. Was the, that was when um D Ford lining up or yeah. um offsides cost the, the yeah. Chiefs. I feel uh, like that was game. his ascension. But was that January twenty nineteen? Yeah. So, yeah, okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the year of twenty eighteen. So it would have been 2019 season. Yeah, yeah that's no, correct. it would be 2018 season in January 2019. No, the next year though was when he was really good. I think. Oh right, right, but yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that was I, when, like yeah, yeah like, that game, and then the next year he really like they, ascended. Like, off, what like, about crazy. his? Uh, what about his brother? Where does he rank among like NFL siblings? Whose brother? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Patrick Mahomes. Oh, What's dude. his name? What? Uh, <laughs> Something I don't know. Mahomes. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm glad I don't. know Holy that. shit. <laughs> he's such a psycho there's that video of him like accosting that woman you like no i mean call it what it is he's like sexually assaulting yeah, sexually her like, sexually assaulting sexually assaulting assaulting and, and you probably like, went to prison grabs for her it. fucking face and is like trying to like make her kiss him and shit that, and he comes up behind thing? her and like tries to choke oh, jackson. her jackson mahomes yeah jackson that's a cool name for the right i feel like that name you have to be careful like you have to be if your name's jackson and you're really cool that, it's like that makes great. it really cool. But if you're Jackson and just okay, like it's like a bad thing, honestly. But yeah, that's the worst part about Patrick Mahomes is not anything close to his play on the field. It's more like what family members are like. I just think it's, God, it's just so frustrating. <laughs> like, God, oh, man, he's, he's like the devil. And, and now Patrick Mahomes, like, do you think Patrick Mahomes is the history of his legacy? At least like in the documentary, we'll have a piece on Taylor Swift. No, you don't think so? Probably not. I think she'll I think be shown like a little bit, but like you know, I don't think so. I think it's possible, and that's like so sad. I don't know, man. I feel like artists that sell really well are very—they have like really big highs, but they're 
I think I think I really do think that artistic merit to a degree helps you age better. Oh, so so you think like <clears throat> like so like there's an like Nelly was like the best selling rapper for like a long time, right? Who, like who was an Eminem, and it's like no one looks at like the pantheon of rappers and is like nelly <laughs> okay i see so so you you think so it maybe i'm like maybe that'll happen with it like, won't be remembered that much I don't know. She's because too, she'll she's fall too, off nah, she's too famous yeah nah, like she much, might be the famous. most famous well she's michael like, jackson um, but besides michael jackson yeah what's like the opposite of that she's like like the bad thing of that the bad thing of michael jackson like she's like a dwayne rock stage, johnson late stage music industry like yeah. oligarch goddess yeah. I mean, Lord Emperor, yeah, they, they Taylor just, Swift. They've just figured out how, instead of like, they figured out that it was more monetarily beneficial to like keep one person going for 20 years versus like using them and throwing them out like Britney Spears. Yeah, Spirit, exactly. You're basically. Right. Yeah, yeah. You basically just keep feeding all the creatives into yeah. them. I was actually watching this video about Drake, one of the uh, his ghostwriters, um, the first one that was named, I forget his name. Fuck. Yeah. Quincy something. I Quincy think. something. Yeah. Um, but he was he basically like laid it out that way where he was like he's like i wanted to be known as like an artist but like i realized that like in, the, in like the industry you kind of just keep feeding into these these like people who already exist because yeah. they don't want to like spend any money like right right marketing, like bring like someone known. else like their, their names are already yeah. known so they yeah. just like you just go like feed so like just that. use your writing skills and we'll have drake say it yeah yeah so and he wasn't down with that and good yeah. for him but his life's been basically ruined for it <laughs> well anyways this is a sports po- oh small sports podcast westbrook and uh demar derozan were at that kendrick lamar thing that's kind of sportsy i guess demar derozan um he's in the music video it's pretty sick who is he what team is he joining he's, he's joining the uh kings now he yeah, gets signed there today right on. for three nice. years 75 million dollars pretty good deal in today's nba one of my favorite parts of NBA free agency is like all the NFL players like just tweeting like what the fuck to like the amount of money they get paid. Did the Kings <laughs> did the Kings <laughs> lose the play in in the play in? Uh, yeah, they well, no, they 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 won the play in against the Warriors and that was Klay Thompson's last game with the Warriors. And then they lost the next play in game against the Pelicans. Oh. And the Lakers beat the Pelicans in the <clears throat> in the higher seed one. Uh but yeah, that's something real quick. Uh, the Warriors' victory is over. Clay Thompson officially left to Dallas on a three-year, fifty million dollar deal. It's been a long day without, without you, my, my friend. friend. Yeah, and uh, apparently he was offered two years, forty million before this season. So that was a mistake to not take that. But whatever, hindsight's twenty twenty. Uh, I think it's pretty sad that he's leaving. Like, it, which is funny to say because for years. Everyone wanted to kill that team. What do you mean by that? In terms of like as fans, because they ruined the NBA for the span of like three years. <laughs> they wanted to kill them as in like they didn't they fucking want them hit- to succeed. Yeah, like when Kevin Durant <laughs> signed there, when I read that on July 4th, 2016, I <sighs> I didn't cry, but like I was so I've never been more upset at a free agency signing in back. I think so sports. too. I think um I think that Kevin Durant signing with the Golden State Warriors would be what is going to be cons- like looked back on as like a dark age in the NBA. And it will have to be considered when you when you talk about LeBron. That basically too. lasts all the way until after the bubble season and yeah. then like it begins a new And also single handedly destroyed Kevin Durant's legacy. And the and some of the worst. And Steph to, Curry's yeah, like for every, sure. I think everyone's partially worse Steph off Curry. Because of I that. think I think it's fair to say that like Steph Curry, he has two legitimate championships, and the other two are in question. Yeah, I mean they they'll be held against them. Yeah, it's like it's too much success, bro. Like and even nobody first, even looks back like thinks anything. Of those years, they're just like it's weird. Like, it's, it's hard. Do you remember anything? I remember LeBron so just like smashing on the Eastern Conference in 2018. Well, I, I remember <laughs> all that, and then I remember J.R. Smith game one. Obviously, who can forget that? And then they swept the Raptors. Remember that they four? Oh yeah, and then J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith game one. <laughs> LeBron scoring 50 points in vain. And then and then and then reporters after the game asking, "Do you know if J.R. Smith knew that you guys?" We're tied, not up. <laughs> and then he's just like doesn't answer it and he asks it again and then he just gets up and leaves. He gets up and leaves his little shorts. Is that when he's wearing the little shorts? Huh? He's wearing so. like the tuxedo with the shorts. <laughs> so, yeah. And he's like, be better, guys. Be better. Be better. Be better. Do not like, see bro, better. what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> but yeah, dude, like and even even and I it's the okay, we you know, we're in San Francisco 
and obviously Steph Curry is like a god here. Legit. And he's he's a great basketball player. He fully like redefined the game of basketball, which is a rare thing. It's a rare thing to play so well that literally everyone changes their approach to the game. That's how insane, including eight-year-olds, okay? Not even just the NBA. We're talking everyone. Everyone just started chucking up threes across the NBA, across college, although college isn't too bad, but they still shoot way too many threes. And, and people just take like, half quarters at the fucking park now. And that's mostly because of Steph Curry, sort of because of Daryl Morey and uh, James Harden. But Steph Curry started it. Steph Curry and Clay Thompson, the Splash Brothers, bro. Oh, what's so crazy about that is Steph Curry, if you want to be really critical, has one championship where you're like, for sure, they earned this. But the Kevin Durant years, two of them, and then 2015, Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving were injured, and they only won in six games. And at one point, the Cavs were up 2-1. Without Kevin Love or Kyrie Irving. It was uh, LeBron and a bunch of scrubs. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, though. For Shit, sure, for man. sure. And, and, you know, and you know what? If they don't get injured in 2019, then he has one more fraudulent. Your best ability is your availability. That's true, if, that's if, true. If, if, you know, if Draymond Green is in kick fucking LeBron James in the nuts. <laughs> or this, is that what happened? Uh, yeah. Well, no, he, uh, yeah, he kicks. It wasn't LeBron, but he kicks someone. Yeah, if he doesn't like get suspended for those games, then like they probably don't win. I think it was Tristan. Thompson. They probably don't take it to seven. I don't think so. Probably not. I think that was game six that he was suspended for. Yeah. So they won the away game. Yeah. What What's crazy about a three-one comeback, or makes it even more impressive, is that, and it makes sense because they were down three-one, but they didn't have home court advantage. So it was like away game, home game, away game. It would be a Dude. lot. Would have been a lot easier if there was two home games. All I'm saying. I like, honestly was pretty ambivalent on LeBron James for before that until that until that until oh, that like series. you weren't sure like how great he was. I just like didn't uh, care. I, you know, I was just like after he joined the Heat, I was like, damn, this fool's available. I hate this fool. So really? I was like, pumped when he lost to the Mavs. I was really, like really. Oh, yeah. you used to be a hater, big time. Oh, yeah. I never, I never I knew hater. this. And then I just kind of like. I uh, I did a book report on LeBron James in uh, like 2006 or something like that. Well, because uh, I was like 15 during the decision or whatever, right? What year was that? That would have been the year that would have been 2010. Oh shit! I was like 17 years old already. So like, yeah, I don't know. I was just like super into like I. <laughs> I, I was thought like 15, it was, I thought I he was like a traitor, you know? I was yeah. Like, this fool, like blah, I mean, blah. I was upset, but like I just I just straight followed him straight to Miami. And then like and then like I just like didn't really care too much. And then and once he was in the heat, he was actually pretty tight. I was just like, damn, this was a pretty tight. Like they're cool 2013 to watch. LeBron James. I thought um, unbelievable. I was, I was watching. Um, I was watching when Ray Allen hit that three hey, against the Spurs. That was fucking crazy, crazy. Bro. I was in the base. That was in my parents' basement. I remember them being down, I think five with like twenty eight seconds left, and just they they got out the ropes for the for the uh, trophy presentation because they all thought the Spurs were gonna win, and damn. I I thought they were gonna win, and all I was thinking was like, God damn. He only has one championship in the first three years of this apparent super team. That's all I was thinking. And then the most insane fucking thing I've ever seen, ever seen, happened. And uh, now I'm wearing a shirt of it. It's considered the best shot in NBA history now. But just look up, if you just want to see, like, Picasso-level art, just look up a picture of Ray Allen Game 6 shot and just look at the crowd behind it. Just, like, look at everyone. Just, it's just, oh, my God. Yeah, it's so crazy because, like, again, like, I was a very casual basketball fan at the time. So, like, that's still something really? that I remember so clearly, like, yeah. where I was when I saw that. Anyway, so, yeah, the 2016, especially, like, afterwards, after, like, they won game seven, I was, like, 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 that fool became my favorite athlete of all. He's still my favorite athlete, like, of all time now. I remember I, I was living. Well. I was, like, God damn. Tell me, what, where were you? Where, like, did you watch that whole series like that? Did you watch that whole series or like? Yeah, me and my old roommate, Alvin Chow, we watched like a, a bunch of it. We saw game seven together in San Jose. Did you watch game five, game six, game seven? Yep. Hell yeah. Dude, I remember I lived I lived in a duplex in college, I think. What year was that? that would have been like junior or something. And right next to me just happened to have moved in like in April was two Cavs fans. No one else Damn. fucking liked them. So I was like, fuck yes. I have someone to watch the games with now. So I'd go over there, and I remember when they were down 3-1, we were just like, because we watched that game, and we were just like, damn, 
<laughs> it's rough. It's really rough. And um, yeah. And then we got to a game seven. We were just like losing our fucking shit. And the end of that game where they went, I don't, was it like three minutes without scoring? Either team. Yeah, it was like, it was like it 92 was like fourth, to 92 for like the longest time or something like that. And then Kyrie Irving finally fucking hits a shot from the corner. That's Dude. that's that's the start of the, the shot, the block, and then uh they tried that's they another tried to, great shot, yeah. They tried to shove uh, Kevin Durant or Kevin Love in there and say like the 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 like it's like the shot, the block, and then Kevin Love just played defense on Seth and Curry. The cock. Yeah, and the cock or something. In <laughs> the cock um, block. You know what's but, under what's under sort of overlooked a lot of times is that what? Steph Curry bricked a three that could have tied it, right? Yeah. I think at the yeah, least, he at did. least. Yeah. Dude, that <laughs> God, that blocked by James shit. That shit was <sighs> fucking LeBron James chasing down Andre Iguodala, like with superhuman speed. So that's what I'm saying, bro. I was like, how could you not? How could you see an effort like that and like not like this dude afterwards? It's crazy. I just loved LeBron, man. <laughs> like before even that happened, I was just I, yeah, I, did, I did a book report on him in 2006. Just about like how sick he was and stuff. And so, then yeah. once I was on that train, it was pretty sick. So like when he, yeah, when he yeah. was smashing on the Raptors, like I fucked up yeah. in like the, the late 2010. Lebronto, <laughs> they called it. Lebronto Raptors. <laughs> that was sick. And then um, beating the Pacers in seven that one that one year, the 2018 run where he was just like Celtics game six, 2012. Yeah, that was pretty Demon sick. LeBron. That was fucking badass, bro. He, I think he laid down like 45 points or something like that, and then he he closed it out at home after that. It wasn't as as crazy of a game, but he still scores 30 something, which is hilarious to say like, oh, he didn't have that good of a game. That's just how good 2012, 2013 LeBron was. I feel like we're already seeing it happening though, where like a lot of um, people who are taking up the online discourse are younger now where you're kind of seeing people a lot more respect for LeBron. Absolutely. Yeah. Like it's, he's becoming more like a Brady type of thing where yeah. it's like, no, this is our guy. Now. Yeah. Like, fuck you. Well, I think, I think when you're not like a fan of the league, when, when someone, cause, <laughs> cause also with the new generation, the big three and like, and like forcing your way to a team and stuff is accepted now. I mean, LeBron in free agency went and signed with another team. Nowadays, People sign a five-year contract, and after one year, they say, I want traded. Yeah. That is way worse. It's done a lot for player mobility, but it's gone too far. We're like... No, I agree, but that's why the new generation doesn't give a fuck. Like, that's why they like LeBron. They're like, yeah. what do you do? Nothing? Okay. Oh, I just remembered when he fucking swept LeBron to... <laughs> they they changed the Wikipedia of uh, <laughs> Toronto like, to with the mayor. <laughs> yeah, he was like the mayor, and everyone said that like uh, Kyle Lowry and Demar Derozan were his sons, and they're like they're like, oh, he's already playing with his son in the NBA. Dude, speaking, <laughs> <laughs> let's let's shift gears to college football because right, next yeah. year is the start of a lot a of conference realignment. Oh shit, you're right. In the NCAA, there's gonna be. It's the regular season matchups that we basically have never seen before. Like which one? Uh, okay, Give rarely. me a couple. Okay, so on October 5th, there's going to be Michigan versus Washington. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> that's that a happened. rematch. Yeah, that happened in the playoffs. It's a rematch of the national what championship. The oh, yeah, the national championship. Man, that was weird. That was a weird game. <laughs> okay, and then Alabama versus Oklahoma, November 23rd. I think it's played Texas, too. <laughs> but I guess that happened the last two years. But yeah, Alabama, Oklahoma. The last time that happened was in the Sugar Bowl, and dude, that was sick. they beat them. Yeah, they did. Amidst, dude, that was that was a game where I was like, if people who are in the know, if you're a real yeah. fucking, if you're if you're in, in the abyss of college football, that was a game where you could have. That's where you saw a running back named Derrick Henry. You're like, this guy is fucking incredible. Yeah, that was his like coming out party. I think he was a backup still too, and he was just like. He ran for like 200 yards in that game. He was unstoppable. And Oklahoma still won. Oh, that game was crazy. That game, that game was so crazy. Because like, it was basically, everyone just made it a foregone conclusion. Obama's going to fuck Oklahoma up. Yeah, that was when They're Alabama pissed. was they still like a fucking like game. first round machine. Yeah. I mean, that was, like, that was like peak Bama run. What is it? Tw 2009. 2011, 2012. That's 2013 was a Sugar Bowl. Right, right. But that those are the years they won championships. Yeah, exactly. Those 09, like, 11, 12. The only year they didn't win it was 10, which was Cam Newton. Did they win 14? I think so. Was Cam Newton 2010? 
Yeah. Yeah. So that's the only reason they didn't go to the national championship is BCS still. They got because they did 2011 and 2012. Right. And then and the 13 was Florida State versus uh, Auburn, yeah, Auburn or something. Yeah. Uh, and anyways, everyone was like, oh, yeah, they're pissed or whatever. And that game, the fact that Oklahoma not only beat them, but beat them fairly like comfortably. It wasn't like a one score game, I don't think. It, it was pretty close. I think there was a late game um, oh, turnover. Okay. Uh, okay, they, had a, they had a strip bigger. fumble on like the five yard line. Okay, so and it I, was like, close. Completely flipped it. I like put it away. But and, it was yeah. significant enough of a result where ten years later, now there's still players on that team that are like, are like, oh yeah, we were drunk or whatever while we played that game. Like they're still making excuses for why they lost. Yeah, because they probably didn't care about it. They probably didn't, but it's significant enough where people. It's still in the discourse. Yeah, I mean, I think like you got to just accept the loss. Yeah, but like you can accept both and be like, yeah, we lost, but I we also did, like, yeah, we didn't care and we lost yeah. because we didn't care. Yeah, like yeah. Fuck Speaking that. of Bama, this is also the first year without Nick Saban since their rise. They're gonna fucking suck, dude. I gotta <laughs> fucking hope so. I think they're gonna suck. Yeah, I fucking just... hope so. So that will be another <laughs> interesting thing to watch for. Um, what Oregon, Ohio, do they play? Oh, Nebraska's going to play USC for the first time since, like, 2007. Nebraska's cool. going to get smoked. Nah, bro. USC <laughs> going to get smoked after no, seeing their not. performance. Now nah, we got five-star QB. <laughs> That's all we need, baby. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm rooting Dude, for you You guys. saw, you saw, you saw those videos of Adrian Martinez, like, like, just shuffling out of bounds. That is our best quarterback That's in, like, my, the last 20 years. That fool sucks. And he sucks. Oh, but USC versus Michigan. Oh, oh, September twenty first. Man, this is you can tell. Do you see why they did this though? <laughs> it's like the Premier League now. Do you see why they did this? Yeah. All these blue bloods. I'm down. I don't care. Yeah, fuck, fuck it. it. Yeah, <laughs> fuck it. Have Bama scheduled be Ohio State. This is gonna Michigan, be a very. Texas. This is gonna be one of the like most interesting college football seasons I think that will ever realignment ever, plus like, in a long twelve time. team playoffs. Twelve team playoff realignment nil just like an active portal, video game transfer. <laughs> portal a new video game shit's popping off people right now. Like, making cash money popping off like oh it's gonna go it's gonna be so wacky it's so really, wacky. it's gonna be so insane there's no I telling who's gonna it's play. wacky enough where i maybe, can't wait it's wacky enough where nebraska could possibly have a wait. winning season you know what that's fuck, how wacky it fuck could rivalries be. there's gonna be new ones now suck it yeah. <laughs> fuck it yeah, bro fuck it, i don't care I'm I'm very. This excited. is like the Premier League of college. Dude, football. I remember I remember being yeah. in the office and like reading the news that the that the Pac-12 or that USC and UCLA were moving to the Big Ten. I remember telling you that, and you being like, "What?" <laughs> I know it is. I was okay, like, it is yeah. really stupid. So I so okay. It is very I, stupid. I think what they should do though is they should just stop. They honestly okay. Like if the if that if the football team the players are getting paid anyway, they should at least have the option. To just not attend school there anymore. Oh yeah, like stop, you just, you, stop the facade. Yeah, is what you're exactly. Yeah. Like just, just like stop it because also, like, it's a lot of logistical burden now, dude. You're gonna have to be flying these fools at the flight of well, California yes, there, to Nebraska that. for yeah. a football game. Well, and, you got also, school. and also like regular school. I can't believe that they didn't find some solution where they just realign football. They're dragging all the other sports that make zero money. No one gives a fuck. So now the swim team at Stanford has to fly to the Atlantic coast <laughs> for almost every single event they do. <laughs> and same with cows. Oh, fuck, dude. And, and, and uh. like, and like, so for like the big 10, for example, it's not really that big of a deal. Nebraska has one West coast game a year. Who cares? But for them, for the West coast teams, it sucks ass. Wow. Every other college sport really is. And I, I did a college sport. Yeah, they get like, fucked. They're a complete joke in the grand scheme of things. We think about it now. Yeah. Like, basketball <laughs> matters like a little bit. Basketball football, matters in one month of March. Football is dominant as fuck. In terms football of college sports and the rest, all anyone gives a shit about. And I guess some people, I, there's, some people I care mean, about baseball. I guess whatever. There's other cool ones though. You know, I think college sports are cool. Yeah, like, they're, they're cool. All it's cool. Just so like, I think gymnastics is cool. I think volleyball is cool. I'm just saying, like in terms of just like oh, like yeah, prominence, sick. it's like it's like you're right though, because football is so much more popular. Like you might as well just like like leave everyone else alone. Yeah. And then you guys kind of just go do your thing. Like, and it's funny. It's funny because like, but people, then again, like football funds so many of the other sports though. So then, right. Like, yeah. And people think that like, people yeah. think that people care about college football basketball sometimes, but you're right. Like even I, I mean, I really like March Madness. Even I, like if I'm like watching a regular season college basketball game nowadays, I'm that like, what the fuck am I doing? A game that is not Duke, North Carolina. 
right? That's like the only yeah, one that anyone exactly. gives a shit about. And the problem with that is the same reason you wouldn't watch a regular season, season NBA game. In the grand scheme of things, it's probably yeah, not going to affect too much. Yeah, exactly. I feel like regular. It's like it's like a regular season NBA game is a is a thing that you go to in person. Yeah, and that's what's cool about it. Like it's something yeah. you go watch. You want to go watch it in person. Like a it's tight. like a baseball game, but but yeah. more interesting. You see the athleticism close up. Yeah. It's like fuck yeah, it's tight. Yeah. <laughs> you watch it on TV and it's regular season. I mean, it, it can be interesting late in the season, but for the most part, yeah. Co- like regular season college basketball is only interesting if your team is like teetering on the edge of like Dude. making the tourney. October nineteenth. Georgia versus Texas. Fuck yeah, Holy baby. shit. And they play Alabama. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh. Dude, it's going to be sick. I really, I really do think I'm going to go to that Alabama Georgia game. It's going to be Holy sick. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. Dude, I hope Texas just lays an egg in the SEC. That'd be so funny. We've only had 16 regular season meetings between the number one and number two teams in the top AP 25 poll since 1969. And there's a chance that's exactly what we get in Austin when Georgia and Texas. Wait, wait, why? Based on what? Just you think so? I'm gonna guess it's based on like their beginning schedule. If so they just, so they're yeah. saying like, does, if Georgia beats Bama, they'll be number one. If <laughs> all right, if Texas, whatever, whatever. But oh, either way, so that's crazy. gonna happen a lot more often now though, because wait, we bro. have all the great teams playing each oh, other. It's gonna be shit. sick as fuck. Dude. October 12th, it's going down. Ohio State. Oregon. Oh, they are playing at Oregon. Shit, Oregon. I don't know. Actually, it just says versus. I don't know why they do that. So I would guess it's probably at Ohio State, right? Oh yeah. If it's if it's oh wait, it says versus. So that Ohio State versus Oregon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's at Ohio State. Then I guess. Oh, here's some other ones. Penn State at USC. (laughs) That's a Rose Bowl rematch, I think. Yeah, it is. Remember the twenty twenty sixteen or fifteen? Is that Saquon? Yeah, the that that game was crazy. Saquon and like Ronald was Jones OTE was the first Rose. Was it Sam Darnold in that game too? Uh, I think it must have been. That shit was popping off. And then I think um I think uh yeah they went to I think double overtime and I think USC won right. Um yeah I USC think so. yeah was Saquon game. popped yeah. off. Okay, Oregon and Michigan. <laughs> November Oregon 2nd. at Michigan. What the fuck? Oregon at Michigan. Oh, shit. hey, that's the last. That's the. Um, Let's go. Before I went to the Michigan yeah. game this year, that was yeah. Uh, yeah. Oregon at Nebraska was like the last. Dude, I'm fucking so pumped about this shit. Dude, Oregon coming out. That's sick, Dude, bro. Oh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oklahoma at LSU. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, that's like when Oklahoma randomly played Florida Bro, State. This is you gonna be that? the best college fucking. This is gonna be the best college football season, like of all yeah, time. Yeah, because I because like, it's gonna be like the sickest. Four shit very ever. well, two can't two super significant shit. teams. I guess three, but really two. Oregon and USC are going to a conference with other huge significant teams, and two from and that's really all it takes to like give you like six additional sick ass matchups, which in college football is like doubling the amount of sick ass matchups. Because yeah. there's quite uh, for how like for how sick the regular season of college football is, there's a lot of bullshit. There's a lot of there's a lot of filler episodes. Let's just say they play like Old Dominion. Yeah, it's like drag. It's like the Dragon Ball Z of fucking sports. Which is like I think you know what I would prefer. I nah. I mean it's tough because like those schools, the smaller schools, do benefit from it right. financially. They do because like but... I think the alternative should just be not necessarily another hard game. It should just be like a bye week. Like just take a bye week. Yeah. Like just don't play anybody. If yeah. you guys, you need to rest because you can't, you can't do Alabama, Georgia every week. You, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't have that level of competition. Of course you cannot. With like 19 year olds, like you're gonna fucking. Of course you can't. But so you just take the week off because they basically do, but they play Old Dominion. Right. Of course you can. But in the past, and I don't think this will be as much of a problem anymore, given the expanded conference schedules and like how the expanded playoffs and now people can take a couple losses in the regular season. That's gonna make it even better too. But in the past, it would be like, oh, the first four four fucking weeks of the schedule, you can basically ignore because everyone's playing cupcakes or it's like Northwestern versus Tennessee or something. Yeah. And that's like a, that was like a huge problem. Anyways, I think that'll be less of a problem. Here's now. some other here's 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 just interesting because like here are like the um the second best, like second tier teams and all of these uh yeah. the, like previous 
conferences. Oh, right? oh so like there's gonna be matchups. Now you got like year. Utah versus Oklahoma State, right? Or which is like they're yeah. kind of like the same thing. And it's like, like, at, least like of it's each at least like a new matchup. Like where they're they're like actually sick programs, but they maybe just don't have the brand recognition of Arizona like, State's gonna play of like all the USC big teams. or an OU, right? So yeah. like, but they're always pretty good. Yeah, especially Utah. Utah's pretty fucking Arizona at Kansas State. Arizona got pretty good. Um, oh, yeah, Wildcat, the Wildcats yeah. game. Wildcat v. Wildcat. Wait, what? The Kansas State Wildcats and the Arizona Wildcats. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, because like, I feel like Arizona, uh, University of Arizona's branding doesn't really match their mascot no, too No, it does well. not. It's, it's just really like, it's like, it doesn't look like. It's like, an A. They don't really talk about it a whole lot. They don't really <laughs> mention the fact that the Wildcats too often. Yeah. Like, what Whereas the Kansas fuck, State has like a little cougar dude or whatever. What's up with the ACC now that they have Stanford? <laughs> <laughs> ACC is just still going to be garbage and now they'll just play a fucking West Coast game every now and then. I mean, ACC sucks, dude. It's basically on the level of well, it's on the level of the Pac-12 which is now gone. So that's that tells you where they're headed. Who we had the Big 12. Let's look, let's look at some other interesting games. Oh, did we already say <laughs> Did we already say Texas and Michigan? No. What? <laughs> is, is that what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Michigan's going to play two of the playoffs teams from last year? What? <laughs> wow, that, that is insane. Wow. Holy right. shit. September 7th, dude, is coming up. <clears throat> September 7th? That's the second week of the schedule. Holy yep. shit. That makes uh, sense, though. Uh, out of conference. Man, Texas has a rough schedule, bro. Michigan. Uh, Oklahoma, obviously. Georgia, right after Oklahoma, but no bye week. Wow. <laughs> They play Florida. Oh, Texas A&M. Oh, they play Texas A&M now. Who does? Texas. Oh, nice. That rivalry Whoa. is restored. Hell yeah. Nice. See, Commerce Realignment isn't all bad. It isn't all bad, huh? folks. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Um, Dude, Georgia yeah, I'm pretty, Texas I'm pretty is going to rock. Dude, uh, we should, we, 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 why don't, I, I kind of want to go to that game. But, Georgia but, at Texas? It's, it, it'll be in Austin. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, when is that? That'll be fucking when is that? Like, October 19th. That'd be pretty sick. I'd be down the last that. time they played each other, Texas beat Georgia in the Sugar Bowl a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember that because Bevo, the uh, Longhorns' live mascot of a Texas Longhorn, uh, attack. What did he attack? I think he attacked the uh, Georgia Bulldog. Yeah, he like, <laughs> he like rammed at the little this big ass fucking Longhorn, like rammed at this tiny little dog. Dude, <laughs> they're just like, this oh, is, I'm, I'm so stoked. I can't wait. It's going to be tight, I think. Wow. I'm, I'm pretty I'm pumped excited. that it's 12-team playoff because, um, yeah, I like the Nebraska Cornhuskers, and they were never in a million years wow. going to make a four-team playoff, ever. Like, with, with the, how the modern game and works. I feel like the four-team, it just, like, it, it was, um, it was, like, a good idea to get people used to it, I guess. Yeah. To kind of, like. It was like a natural progression of the BCS. It's basically just adding an, a semifinal to the BCS. They also so, established like they also established like the uh, the new committee and all that shit first. For like yeah, that committee's so stupid. The committee's stupid. Basically, it's I think like, we should just go back to the BCS. Now that there's twelve, go back to the BCS computer. That's probably like pretty cool. Like, I don't know. They, we got some good games. Why out did of they that. even switch it from four? We got some great games out of that. We got Oklahoma, Oklahoma, <laughs> Boise State. <laughs> But the problem with that is ESPN can't tell a computer where to rank people and to not put Florida State in the top four. Yeah, because nobody wants. Yeah, because Boise State <laughs> isn't big brand name. Well, there's that, and then like this past year, they they basically they basically Bernie Sanders Bernie Sandered the Florida State Seminoles. ESPN is the DNC, and and they said actually um, Bernie Sanders, aka Florida State. We're gonna put in Alabama. Alabama. Oh. They put Bama in. So Bama is Hillary Clinton. Florida State is Bernie Sanders and ESPN is the DNC. <laughs> <laughs> That's what basically happened. Dude, Florida State, it was like, yeah, I mean, I think they should just let him in, bro. Yeah, of course. Like, just whatever. Basically, basically their quarterback got, well, like, got injured. He was it's a big brand. Out? Like, you don't really lose. Yeah, it's a like, big brand. They're still deep. I don't know. Alabama, know. didn't they get smoked anyway? Alabama? Michigan? They got... Yeah, I think so. I don't know about smoke, but they definitely got beat like pretty handedly by the end of that game. Florida State, we have no idea how good that team was without the quarterback because once they got fucked out of the playoffs, understandably, all of those players that were had a future in the NFL, they just said, well, fuck this. 
mm-hmm. then Georgia proceeded to beat them like 69 to zero or whatever. I remember, dude, I was watching that game with my brother and he just was like so pumped up that Georgia was like manhandling Florida State. And I was like, this, this is like, this is like when people stop playing online on Smash. Like, why you shouldn't be excited about the fact that you you're up 63 or whatever. I mean, but if you're a fan of the team, it's probably sick. But he was too. I, was like, I mean, why? Okay. He's like, we set a record. I'm like, I guess. I mean, what else are you gonna do? You know? Yeah, I guess. I so. think. I guess so. But like, and I like Georgia. I fucking Georgia Bulldog socks. I'm not hating. It's just Georgia, just like, Georgia, TCU in that championship game. Oh like, yeah, that was, was like the funniest. You'd be pumped up for destroying them. I've ever seen. Well, I predicted 60? it too. I remember I predicted it before. I was like, yeah, I was like, be in my 60. I was like, Georgia was gonna. I was like, Georgia is going to win by 52 points <laughs> i and think they i was won, like, I think I was won like 63 to 7 <laughs> yeah. so it was like 56 it, yeah. points yeah <laughs> i knew it dude tcu get the fuck out of here come on <laughs> so i feel like we should bring back the bcs computer because we got games like the 2012 rose bowl with oregon and wisconsin that shit was pretty sick that's yeah, an oregon that's cool. world remember d'anthony thomas did you did you watch college football then D'Anthony Thomas. I was I was light, lightly aware of D'Anthony Thomas. Was he a running back? Yeah, he was everything. He was a slot. He played slot. He was running back. He's he, basically the Debo Samuels he, of. He was like Tyree Oregon. Kill of, of oh, college. Okay. but like no, but like even be, like. <sighs> who was the other Oregon guy? Oh, who man. like who's the other Oregon guy? Uh, LaMichael. LaMichael James. Yeah. yeah. Didn't he tear up his leg or something? No, nah, he just he played with the Niners and just kind of sucked. I thought he, he tore it up at Oregon. And then he fumbled a. Uh, he fumbled a punt in the Super oh, Bowl really? with the Niners. Yeah. Oh god. Fucking Wait, was that Colin Kaepernick? Joke. Yeah, it was with it was with the Niners. Yeah, when the lights Cap. went out and Ray Lewis. That's right. Everyone was like, "Where's Where's Ray Lewis? Someone find Ray Lewis." That was terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry to bring up such a sore subject. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh, what was the other thing? Is it too early to talk about the Olympics? No, I mean I'm fucking stoked. I'm stoked to I'm stoked to see the basketball team, the men's guys, this basketball. This is this team. is the real like everyone was waiting for. At least I don't know about you guys, but I was waiting for like that day where the whole world was gonna party because COVID was over. I had this like weird mystical day where we it was gonna be like the COVID's over day, right? And they're just like, what are you talking about? Like when COVID ha- when COVID was going on, right? There's an end of COVID day. No, there wasn't. But in my mind, in everyone's <laughs> mind, it's like, man, this lockdown sucks. But once it's over, we're all going to party, right? Right, yes. And, and, and in my, your mind, it's like it's like this one time. But that's obviously not how real life works. It just slowly progressed to like, okay, I guess we're just doing stuff like normal again. And anyways, this will be the first real Summer Olympics since COVID. And this is, to me, this is like, it's over. We're fucking doing the Olympics. Like full on, full crowds. Everything's going on. Oh yeah, this would be the first like this. Real this Olympics. is like my like, yeah, post COVID like shits over party. Yeah, and I, I kind of I really wanted to go, but then somebody reminded me that they're Where gonna be it? in L A. in twenty twenty eight. Oh true, so yeah, yeah. Where's it at? We're again? still uh, alive by then, huh? Is it Paris? It's in Paris. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Which sounds like hopefully we're alive by then. <laughs> which sounds like a pain in the ass to go to, honestly. Paris? Oh, absolutely, For dude. Imagine Cup. fucking Fuck that. That'd holy be so shit! So expensive and crowded. Yeah, I'm definitely yeah. definitely going in twenty twenty eight, dude. 2028 Absolutely. is gonna be sick, and then we got the World Cup in 2026, which shit's, is gonna be shit's rad. popping off in America. So the U, I, I'm also gonna be keen to watch the uh, the men's soccer team in the Olympics, which is apparently going. They're terrible. They're supposed to be good. They're 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 terrible. But they're supposed to be good. They didn't make it out of the group stage in Copa America. Oh really? They suck. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> they're fucking. They're just underachieving to an insane degree. Like it's crazy um Wait, what was so that? it turns oh, out yeah. that their current coach is a coach that they previously fired and then rehired and the coach who they passed on to rehire the coach that they fired is now the coach of team canada and team canada like is sick. in the semi-final of copa america <sighs> their first appearance it's the first what? time in Copa. Yes. Oh, in the semifinals. It's, no, no. That's the first time they've ever been. In so you have to tournament. make the Copa. This is the first time they've ever been in the tournament. You have to make it. I think yeah. They There's have like to qualify. To I think the you tournament. have to. You have yeah. to decide if you want to. God do. damn. Yeah. And like, how big is the tournament? How many teams? Sixteen. I think. Uh, no, I think it's. Yeah, I think so. So actually. they've won two tournament so. games. Yeah, it's damn. quite a bit. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because once so you get to won, World like, Cup two stage, knockout. Yeah, they won the knockout in the quarterfinal. 
So then, like, Fuck. the round of 16, the quarterfinal. Well, so I think there's more than 16. I mean, do we really deserve it, though? I mean, you know. Yeah, no. This is considered the golden generation of U.S. No, um, I agree. Soccer. But, like, like it's like it's like if someone told you, like, hey, man, this is a golden generation of French basketball. We'd be like, all right, well, we're still going to fucking dick on them. So whatever. Well, the thing is, like, you should at least be competitive. Well, yeah, that's true. Like, with the resources that are here that they put into this, this I feel shit. Like, well, that's true. We're the a giant of, country. Our, our, like, our population. It's like, there's not really an excuse to, like, not make it out of the group stages. Yeah, too, and just that's like, true. G- given, like, all the financial and just, like, structural advantages they have, they should be doing better. I do remember us doing all right in, like, the 2014 World Cup. That was when... um. Fuck, what was the name of that that goalie? Tim Howard. Yeah, that was his last year, I think. That dude was that was when he like had that uh, a sick ass game. Like that yeah. was like he uh he we, we made it out of our group stage, which I think what they called it the stage of death at the yeah, time. Yeah, oh the, the group the of death. death stage. The group of death. Group of death. Yeah. Which was and then we we didn't I don't think we won a tournament game, but that's we did play someone really good. That was pretty badass. Game, so. yeah. 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 I it remember watching sick. that shit. That was sick as fuck. And then I remember being disappointed in and because that was the first World Cup I watched. Really, I, like love, intently. I love like world soccer i realize and i realize that i don't give a shit about the premier league because i don't want to fucking wake up at three in the morning to watch a sport well event. also do you really want to watch a sport where like <laughs> under you know, any circumstances you know what team's gonna win what do you mean i like the premier, is the premier league like that <laughs> that's like the german league i think like the german league they the, that like bvb team wins like literally every single year Oh, that's like yeah. some of those like Euro leagues. It's just like, why do you guys even play? The Premier League is cool, but yeah. And uh, they also play like apparently like, uh, it's a different style of soccer compared to um, some of like the South American teams. They're like, it's like um, very fast and about power and speed. And, and what shit. is that? What is like the South American teams about? Just like passing and like finesse and touch and stuff. Just okay, like, so it's like less... good dribbling and shit, and just like movement. Yeah. So it's less like speed and more like a, like fluid fluidity and like agility. Yeah, and like creativity and stuff. That's cool. And just like that's pretty sick to like know that to like see like because I'm assuming like Germany must be like this Euro style. So that Germany Brazil game, I mean that wasn't very a very close like you know f- tournament final, but that must have been like a cool. Wait, which one? Uh, 20, 28, 20, about 20, 2018 when they lost seven, seven one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, see- I, I like actually recently learned about like what happened in that game. What happened? Well, number one, um, ne- Neymar was injured the game before. Oh, so, really? Yeah, and offensively, like Wait, so, so Germany won the game. Huh? Or who, who won? Germany won seven one. Oh, and this Brazil. was in Brazil, wasn't it? Yeah. Damn. That I remember watching that shit live. It was crazy. This the Germany was up like four zero in like twenty minutes. It was like insane. Really? Oh my god. Yeah. And um. Damn. So Soccer's... Neymar wasn't playing, and Neymar was like their best player offensively to yeah. the extent where they like <laughs> relied on him so much that they were just in disarray without him, like completely yeah. lost. And basically, he had a counterpart on defense who was also not playing. Fuck. And Damn, they were similarly of out of sorts, so they just got fucked on. Like, they were just yeah, totally I didn't know any of that. that completely sucks. exposed. Like, that sucks. So, did people pretty much know that that was going to happen before nah, the game? Nah, nah. Did I they kind of wanna... did they like blissfully like ignore? It's just unacceptable because like you should be, you shouldn't have your team built that way. Yeah, that's true. That's like, true. It's just, it's just unacceptable. Like, that's, that's crazy. That's cool. Uh, it's pretty like. Hmm? I don't know. When I would, whenever, even during the World Cup, if I would like watch football. My my parents will like come down and be like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> so like to like watch football, soccer in Nebraska, it, like it, it'd be like it'd be like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, soccer was heavily stigmatized in my family too. Okay, so we're a football family. We all played football, so we just thought it was like, yeah. Like, I mean, I wish we didn't, because like I don't know, it's pretty fucking tight. Yeah, it's like, a tight. I'm like thing. really into it. As it an doesn't. Adult. It only has. There's no there's no stoppage. So that's why you see, yeah, they have a bunch of ads and shit on their jerseys. But guess what? You don't have commercials except for at halftime. I yeah, that's amazing. It's pretty, it's pretty fucking Especially sweet. Especially compared to, watch. to like that's watching the NBA or NFL it's or very swift. fucking it's very God swift. forbid college yeah, football. It's very swift. I really like it. God I really damn. enjoy it. It's a very nice, enjoyable it's, it's very refreshing. It's like two hours total yeah. easily. I watched um like almost the entire women's world cup <laughs> did, we, did we win year. it huh we won it right usa won it no 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 well no. we're not getting anymore 
I think it was Spain who won. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, no, they the 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 women are falling off. That this was when like Megan dude, Rapino. This was like Megan Rapino like missed the penalty kick. Oof. Like sailed Is Rapino, it. Like the, the in like color, a clutch situation. The, the girl colors her hair. She's the one that like everyone hates for some reason. Yeah. Well, I think it's because she's just like really like she she's really aggressive, I guess, with like her her like whole like you guys don't respect us and all this shit. So <laughs> but like in my opinion, like you over... can just you can just ignore that. No, like, for sure. I don't for know. Sure. Be for an sure. adult, dude. Be like, like, okay, that's fine. Anyway, you're pretty good at soccer. Like, good shit. <laughs> yeah, but people a, lot, a big know. part of sports is personality. It's and like, why do, I don't think I like why why am I taking how much the women's national team gets paid so personally? Yeah, I get right. paid more. You guys actually win a lot. Go ahead. Yeah, that sounds that sounds that makes sense to me. Like. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, whatever. Let's not. Yeah, we're not gonna get into like who like kicking everyone's ass. So it's like, like, what's the big deal? (laughs) But yeah, and what was the other? Also, there was the other chick on there. What was her name? Megan something. Dude, um, the hot um, chick, Alex Alex, Morgan. Yeah, so Alex Morgan. She's a wacko. She's a wacko, but but <laughs> kind of a looker. So I feel like she like people like no, she is, she, to but her. Yo, she abused. Uh, she oh, like right. assaulted her nephew once. Oh really? Yeah, she's like a. I thought wait, she's wait, like is a she, violent. Is she she got caught for it with a DUI. Oh really? Yeah, with wait. her baby in the car. She was sleeping. Holy fuck! I thought I also think she might have had domestic violence. Like <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, she okay. like she's like a yeah, psych, she's, crazy. she's like crazy. So like I think person. I'd rather I'd rather have someone who's who's like mm, I want to be paid more versus someone like hitting their fucking husband and her wife. I don't know what she is. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I think I think what the worst thing I saw Megan Rapino do, was, which was pretty tasteless, is when like they were like destroying Vietnam yeah. or something. I think in, yeah. in the game, and she was just like celebrating when, after like the fifth. They were up like five zero. It like, was, bro, dude. I think they were up like nine zero. It's like you're like humiliating. <laughs> yeah, them. like that's yeah. not cool. Yeah, it was. Know. It was like the seventeenth minute. Because as a as a counterpoint, like the the Germany Brazil game, yeah. like they're almost like the fifth. Six, seven points were almost scored like apologetically. Oh, like they, like, they really were just like, fuck. Yeah. When they score, they're like, damn. It's like, I don't sorry. want to, I'm a fucking professional. Like, fuck yeah. this as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the here. way Megan Rapino like fucked on Vietnam or whatever country that was. But like, that's pretty, that's pretty rough. It's kind, of, it's kind of like playing like your nephew in FIFA. I honestly think the worst thing she did was miss that penalty. Yeah, I mean, it yeah, was just like, for sure. Because some people thought she shouldn't even have been on the fucking team. Damn. So, which is fair, because like if you're declining in like your play, you're declining. You probably shouldn't be on the team. And and then and then like and but I'm they not, brought again. her, they kept her on the team because of her. I mean, maybe because she's pretty. I mean, she's pretty marketable, and the, you know, whatever. Yeah, That's people. Fine. She's a she's a known commodity. Yeah, so it's like cool, but then like and then don't have her kick a penalty in a clutch situation. Against, Wait, so like, what happened in the penalty? Against, I think they're playing. <sighs> where did, where I the ball say, go? Like, <laughs> huh where'd the ball go she like, just sailed it like I it went think, over yeah like, damn it's like completely missed fuck yeah <sighs> dude they just guess on those right it they literally just it. guess but like there's some people who are really like like ronaldo actually in this copa america run did he ever miss one he did actually he did but just one maybe yeah, but he but the one that he missed was like a, a big deal. It was against ah that fool fucking missed a penalty in one of the earlier games and it was a huge deal. Yeah. But then like I saw him make one where he like he'll pause and then pause a little bit again. Yeah, like, yeah. It's just like the they way do they a really good him. job yeah. of like faking him out. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. I think it's similar when like hockey. The hockey ones are very impressive to me. Like hockey shootouts. Did you see that video of Ronaldo like fucking so I don't know if his contract there is over, but he took one of those like Saudi a billion dollar contracts. Yeah. And there's a video of him. Like it was just like a compilation of him being like pissed off at how like they play him in that league. Yeah, I guess they're really aggressive with him and stuff. Cause all the other players are, I, I'm sure have like a chip on their, sh- their shoulder. Right. It's like, Oh, they're giving you all this fucking money and we probably get paid uh, peanuts. Yeah. So like there's a, this video of him just launching the ball into the other team's bench. And the level <laughs> of competition is just like, yeah lower i think that's yeah. why he kind of sucked so yeah and like with portugal and copa america he's basically like been holding the team back like he's, wait really he's a huge he's he's like 39 bro he's yeah. like old now on the decline and especially and in football he's playing at like a what was considered like a less competitive league yeah yeah so right like now, you're, gonna adjust, so you're club, not gonna club yeah you're as good as those around you exactly so you kind of yeah. just like you're kind of you're kind of like you know loose around the yeah you're, you're, yeah you're, you're like you're like hey i can do this you know it's sharp. like no you can't you can you're do that against fit. people in the saudi league yeah so then fucking but not in copa america copa whatever copa america baby the Wait. euro cup is uh popping off too right now 
man, it's a it's a good time to be in the soccer. Man, remember when I didn't know what Copa meant and Nathan just pounced on me? Yeah, <laughs> this is why I renewed my YouTube TV is just to watch like soccer. Okay, so you're gonna keep that? Hmm. You gonna keep YouTube TV? Yeah, because I want to keep watching soccer. Ah, uh, okay. So then the semifinal now is gonna be Spain against France. Killing Mbappe. Mbappe. With his little mask. Mbappe. Oh, yeah, the mask. Yeah, because he fucked up his nose. Oh damn. And Netherlands against England. Damn. Uh, probably England will win that. What? I don't know, I don't know man. I'm, I'm just guessing based on like 